Hi, this is Kelly Maitlinger, and I thought I'd show you how I take a detox bath. So if we eat acidic food, anything processed, which I try to avoid, um, we can have more acid in our body. So to help detox that, I take a combination of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate and Epsom salt, which is magnesium sulfate. Epsom salt mixed with water as a bath soothes aches and pains from minor sprains and bruises and helps relieve muscle tension. And I put in there approximately a quarter cup. You can put in more if you want, but I do this almost every day. It helps exfoliate my skin. I hike every day in the mountains to glaciers and ice caves. And I'm on my feet a lot. And I used to have really rough, craggy skin that would form, especially on my heels and right up on the balls of my feet and along this spot right here. And so recently, um, when I would get muscle aches from hiking four miles, up mountain, I started mix, mixing sodium bicarbonate and magnesium sulfate and water in the form of a muscle relaxing bath, but it also detoxes, so it makes your body more alkaline. And so the sodium bicarbonate or baking soda is originally from the mineral natron, and it's been used since ancient times. It can be used for probably over 100 different uses, but as far as a detoxifying bath, the principle is that it pulls toxins through your skin. So it's very good. Um, well, going to a hospital last year with an acquaintance of mine who came to help me work on my cabin, I got a huge series of staphylococcal skin infections. And so now, anytime I have a little bump on my skin, before it becomes an infection, you can see an example of that right here. I'm not sure if that's insect bites or just bumps from working in the forest every day, but I soak my skin in that setting in the sodium bicarbonate and in the magnesium sulfate. So they both help to smooth the skin, exfoliate, remove all the rough edges, they help to detox, they help to cleanse my body from the outside and in. And as far as the sodium bicarbonate, I also use that mixed with hydrogen peroxide as my toothpaste. I also use it as my deodorant. Once I realized all the bad stuff that's in normal everyday deodorant and toothpaste, I weaned myself off of those products and stopped using them certainly don't need to add any more toxins like fluoride, for example, to my body um, just by brushing my teeth or all the other compounds that are in most common everyday deodorants. So sodium bicarbonate and magnesium sulfate are both naturally occurring products that come in 100% pure forms and they can actually help your body in numerous ways. So even though I live off grid, whenever I get a chance, I take a detox bath, help my skin heal. And you can literally feel it healing. So as you probably know, I'm an open water swimmer and I ended up with blisters on the back of my heel. That's been a few weeks ago now and I was dragging my own support boat, which was a kayak. So I just took the band-aid off that I wore during the day and that's what's left. So basically it's medicinal water leaching against my skin and healing it. So it's really powerful. I can feel it healing. And when I ended up with a staphylococcal infection, while being at a hospital with a friend, how it all started was I had ingrown toenail right here. And 
that ingrown toenail led a path, a vector for the infection to enter my body. And what happened was I had unknowingly removed that ingrown toenail, not knowing that it was going to cause me harm. I just had an ingrown toenail for the first time in my life, didn't like it. And I cut it out with my pocket knife and then went swimming in a windsurfing race right after that. And that allowed the bacteria from the lake to enter my body, which weakened it and created a small, minor infection at that time. And then within a couple weeks, I went to a hospital, which allowed the MRSA or staphylococcal infection to enter my body while being at the hospital. So it spread rampant throughout my body. And I was in Montana by myself while I was healing up from that infection for several months. And primarily the way I solved it was through treating those open wounds with onions and garlic. And I would also soak with Epsom salts in a little foot bath there in my remote off the grid cabin. So if I have an availability of a bath, I'll soak for 20 or 30 minutes if I have that option. And it makes my skin a lot healthier. If your skin's healthy, your remaining body is much healthier as well. So just a couple tips I've learned. Enjoy.